Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different, but has been highly requested, and it is finally episode one of Cooking with Yvette. Um, I've been trying to do a cooking series for you guys for a while now. Um, if you guys hear the birds chirping, it's because I'm in my kitchen and the window's open. But I have been trying to do a series for you guys for a really long time. You guys have definitely watched my journey from, you know, being in a relationship with my husband to becoming a wife and now becoming a mom since I am currently pregnant. Um, you guys have definitely seen those transitions and I know if you guys have seen my old vlogs You guys know that I did not know how to cook to save my life and I feel like with a lot of Mexican moms um, You know, they don't really measure anything. It's very like Echale poquito o tantearle poquito, you know So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know what's been working for me Definitely show you guys what has been working for me because I now have things measured so it, it's basically going to be tasting the same all the time Okay, so I use um, Just this mug here. This has been working for me. I don't use like the actual cup um, Dispensers I do have some but Like I said, this has just been working for me. It's a mug so You can use pretty much any type of mug whether it's a wider mug a bigger mug the only difference is that whatever amount you put of rice in your mug, you're gonna put two cups of water to equal that cup, if that makes sense, okay? For a flavor, you're gonna be using the um, caldo de pollo, and then you're gonna be using the caldo de tomate. We're gonna need both of them. You can pick these up at Food for Less. I'm sure you guys all have them in your kitchen. We're gonna need, obviously, rice. I have the rice here, and then you're gonna use a tomato sauce. There's a lot of people who like to use their tomato sauce freshly made, like they actually blend their tomatoes with onions, all that stuff, but I'm showing you guys the easiest way possible. My mom does the whole tomato and blending and all that stuff, but I'm showing you guys a way that's easy and delicious, tastes absolutely the same as if my mom was to do it, blended in the licuadora saves you time and like I said not everybody has all the time in the world to be cooking but these but these videos that I'm going to be doing for you guys it's going to make life a little bit easier for you guys so you guys do have that time to be able to cook and you know take care of yourself because we all know that once you become a wife it's like starvation mode and you go from having a home cooked meal every single day to all of a sudden you having to cook all the time and men as well if you guys are watching this you guys can definitely get your butts in the kitchen and make a nice meal for your wives but um, we're also going to need some olive oil and then another thing i'm not sponsored by princess house which if you guys want to sponsor me reach out to a girl but i have this oh yeah and it's from princess house and Honestly, I think it was like $50. I'm gonna find it and link it below if you guys want to get it just because this is honestly my rice Oya like I feel like every Recipe has like a specific Oya that you use and you know your rice is gonna come out bomb as fuck My mom's been using this Oya for years and years and years. So she gave me one when I got married I kid you not my rice is delicious because of this Oya. Well, I mean also the recipe but mainly the one. So we're gonna put the Oya at Medium and then we're going to add only a little bit of oil just to heat up the pan so we can dorar our um, rice. I'm going to prep my rice. The rice brand is the Mahatma, Mahatma, Mahatma rice. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. We're going to put that in our cup and fill up. The whole cup of rice so you guys see the whole cup is filled with rice make sure you guys have your hands washed and ready um i'm not a professional cook so just so you guys know i'm not a professional cook and i want to make sure that everything's very sanitary so wash your hands oil should already be heated i left it on there for obviously like five ten minutes i'm gonna pour just a little bit of rice Let's see how it reacts. Yep, it's ready. So we're gonna pour all of our rice onto the pan. 
and then grabbing your cuchara this is plastic you don't want to scratch up your princess house oh yeah so make sure you guys don't use a metal spoon which i used to use so make sure that we don't do that You guys are gonna mix, 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 mix. So clearly the purpose of um, putting the aceite first is because we want to dorar our rice. We want to make sure that it's like super doradito. You don't want it to get burned, so as soon as it starts getting really brown, that's when you know you're gonna put your water in. So we're just gonna mix this up for about five minutes. Shouldn't take too long. This, you know, this olla, like I mentioned, it actually cooks really quickly. So your rice should take you about 15, 20 minutes to make. Um, once it starts getting kind of yellow and then some areas in there are really brown. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera because it's a little bright, but it's already getting really doradito. We're gonna add the water. The same mug, like I mentioned, we're gonna add two cups of water. So once we have added our water, obviously a little hot so definitely be careful we're just gonna kind of mix 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 and then this is where we're going to start adding um, what's gonna give our rice flavor so first I'm going to add my tomato sauce this is the brand that I like to use and it's the best yet tomato sauce I only pour half of my tomato sauce I add half of that I mix that in. Make sure you guys mix all of that in nicely. And then now we're going to add our caldo de tomate and caldo de pollo. I'm going to add the caldo de tomate sauce, not sauce, um, powder. And grabbing a medium sized spoon. I'm going to apply one cuchara llena of the tomato. And I'm gonna add two of the green same size tablespoon. Not tablespoon, I always say tablespoon because like you eat on the table with this type of spoon, but these are actually not tablespoons. People that cook are probably like cringing right now with me saying tablespoon with this type of cuchara. But it's just a medium sized cuchara and I do fill it up pretty nicely. And I apply both cucharas and then I mix that in. So my rice is still at medium heat. We are going to bring this up to a boil. So once we start seeing it boil up, making a bunch of bubbles, we're going to taste the jugo. And then that's when you're going to know if it needs a little bit more for some reason. But honestly, it never needs more. It's usually to the T when I make my rice with exactly those measurements. So at this point, you're gonna grab your cuchara and you're going to grab a little bit of the juguito. Careful not to burn yourself. And you're going to taste it. Okay, so at this point, this is where you're gonna know what your rice is gonna taste like. Honestly, the juguito is perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to cover up. Once the rice is covered up, we're going to lower the volume, the, um, the volume, <laughs> we're gonna lower the heat and we're going to put it at low. And we're gonna let the rice sit for about 20 minutes. Do not open this lid. No matter how tempted you are to check it, to see if it's cooking, to see if it's working, do not open the lid <laughs> like i can this is like the most crucial part 
do not open this freaking lid so we're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then we'll be right back so it's three uh it's 2 33 right now we'll be back in 20 minutes okay so it is 2 53 um it's honestly fully cooked from what i can see i'm gonna turn it off and once it's off here let me try to zoom it in you can kind of see the edges it's already nice and um, ready. I'm gonna let it sit for like another five minutes just so it can cool off and then I'm gonna serve myself I'm going to make me some quesadillas um, Just so I can have a full meal since I haven't even eaten anything um, But I'm gonna let that sit for five minutes Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rice So you guys can see how beautiful it looks tell me that doesn't look beautiful Put my quesadillas. Bon appetit. So now the moment of truth. Obviously, if it's bad, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Tell you guys it's good, you know. You wanna come taste it? My niece is here. Mmm. -mm. My rice is bomb. You want some? Tell me how good it is. It's bomb. She comes. I have my meal that I need to finish now, but the rice came out absolutely bomb. If you guys decide to make some, definitely let me know how it turned out. You guys are going to be in love with it. I promise it's going to be the easiest recipe you guys will probably find on the internet. It's bomb as fuck. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If there's any other recipes that you guys want me to do, definitely put them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on my next video. Love you guys.